So um, hopefully we will put that plant that seed here somewhere. Okay, so cool. hey, you guys, it's Maria from the Fox 11 Newsroom here in Los Angeles, and I've got Larry Charles, uh, writer, director, uh, most recently directed uh, the movie The Dictator. Correct. And by the way, this is a real casual thing here. Good. Even more casual. I'm very casual, so yeah. this is perfect for me. Yeah, I can I can see you have a very casual style uh, that has its own you know signature. Yes. Larry Charles. Does someone advise you on your no, it's just red carpet? This is, this is what happens in the morning, and that's it. I go with it. <laughs> on the red carpet, does someone like a... On the red carpet, I actually wore a suit at the red you carpet. Did. Yeah, it was shocking. It was like my bar mitzvah suit. It was very exciting. Thank you. Excellent, excellent. Um, okay, so let's talk about The Dictator really quick. Please. Um, how is that? Like, what's the collaboration between you and Sasha Baron Cohen? Well, it's a larger collaboration, really, than even Sasha and I, because we have a group of writers. We have like a what I call a creative brain trust, mm -hmm. and we basically scrutinize and examine and analyze every moment of the movie, from the writing, through the shooting, through the editing. So there's a lot of debate and discussion uh, about every moment of the movie. So it's really a larger collaboration that's been going on for a number of years through all three of the movies that we've done together. So, I mean, because when we watch it, we think, oh, that must have been, uh, you know, an improv improvisational moment or whatever. But is it scripted throughout? Well, many, many moments are uh, improvised or ad-libbed or are spontaneous. Um, but in this movie, we had a very strong script to start with. As we do on Curb and even on the other movies with Sasha, we have a foundation, a written foundation of some kind, knowing that we're going to go off of that foundation and improvise and make stuff up along the way. Mm -hmm. But it's good to have a good foundation, a structure, mm -hmm. to know where the story is going, where the characters have to go, and then the actors feel much more comfortable uh, ad-libbing. Uh, and by the way, he, you also directed the first one, uh, Borat. Borat. Yes. And, well, why not Bruno? I did direct Bruno. Oh, you did do yes. Bruno. Oh, yes. you did, so you did all three. Yes. You're, you should go on IMDb before we do this. So I should. I did. Pull, you know what I pulled up here? Look. Yeah. yeah. Not, did, not I accurate. Did, not I accurate. I didn't do IMDb. What's wrong with Do you me? know that it has my uh, uh, the wrong birth date, and I've tried to change it a hundred times, and they, somebody keeps changing it back to the wrong Isn't date. Isn't that funny that you tried to do that? I'm myself younger, which I actually what, what am. What's the birthday, sir? It's very annoying to be told that I'm old, like, almost a year <laughs> older than I actually am. So, uh, I, I'm going to look up IMDb. At this age, you know, I don't... See, February 20th, that's not my birthday. So, so what is your birthday, sir? I'm going to fix that for you. Hear, um, December 3rd. All right, man. December 3rd? Okay, December someone third? out there is going to hear and is going to fix it. Fix it right now. That is incorrect. Right. This we'll is IMDb. Right I understand. But if you go on Wikipedia, it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. It's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, I will change it. But I also have fake, I was saying before, I have fake, people have put up fake Facebook pages, too. So Yeah, they do that all the time. Yeah, I know so, that. And then this kind of information keeps, uh, it, it's like a meme. It just kind of spirals mm -hmm. out of control. You know? So we'll reference this video to... I to for Larry, <laughs> so... Um, if you do, just yeah, you know, uh, let me know. Can okay. I ask a question? Yeah, go, ahead. go ahead. So, Larry, I, I love the stuff that you work with Sasha Baron Cohen. Like, Sasha is one of the coolest comedians, uh, up with uh, Ricky Gervais and, um, and the whole gang. So, I want to ask you specifically on Borat. So, in Borat, you guys must have been lawyer up like to the nth degree. I mean, you, you guys are... So first of all, talk about the, the uh, process of getting people to sign off the, the release form. And there are two scenes I want to ask you specifically. The one scene is uh, he's singing the national anthem and probably almost got killed. And the other one is running like totally almost naked in the convention. Yes. Uh, in the, yeah, that, those, those two scenes. Well, the, uh, first of all, the releases are uh, they're very, very um, detailed. They're prepared by a lawyer. So that when people sign these releases, they are, you know, look often people, how often do you or I look at the fine print on a thing that we sign? Almost I never. never. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I would advise people to look more carefully next time they sign things. Um, but we've been sued, I, I don't know, 50 plus times, maybe 100 times, and not one lawsuit has ever actually gone to court. So, so the releases are very effective legally. Mm -hmm. So we're covered that way. As far as the rodeo and the, the running naked through the convention, which was the culmination of the naked fight, that's the kind of stuff that we would do. I mean, that's mm -hmm. a situation where it's set up. We know what we want to accomplish in those scenes. We know that, for instance, the naked fight, Azamat and Borat have to go their separate ways at the end of that fight. But, but beyond that, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know how people are going to react to it. Two naked men running through a hotel lobby. 
and I don't want to know what's going to happen. I want to be surprised just like I want the audience to be surprised. So I become the surrogate for the audience in that respect. I want to see what happens as much as anybody else, and I don't want to know what happens. If it gets too controlled, it loses that air of spontaneity mm -hmm. uh, that makes those movies so special. Sasha, I almost, uh, almost got uh, uh, suffocated in that uh, naked fight scene, right? Uh, and he he actually like, oh. did almost get suffocated. That's that true. Was real. Yes, that uh. was very real. I, you know, I'm, I, I'm looking for the reality of that situation. We all are. And um, he had this look, the, the big guy, Kenny, who was the big guy, he, he never even understood why this was funny. He was constantly saying, I don't see what's so funny. And we were just going, just get undressed. It'll be funny. So uh, there's a certain leap of faith that goes on with those sort of things. Did you ever shoot a scene or a couple of scenes and go, that was just too far. There's no way we're going to put that in there. Were, were there those well, moments? all three of these movies um, have, the first cuts are like six hours long. Oh, so And they eventually wow. turn into 90-minute wow. movies. So there's so much material that gets put, mm -hmm. put aside. Some of it because it goes too far. Some of it because it's just not funny. Some of it because it doesn't fit into the story. So there's all kinds of reasons why the, the movie, those, those pieces of material don't make it into the final movie. They're great pieces of material quite often and mm -hmm. really worth seeing. And hopefully someday we'll put out these longer cuts. I was say, and people yeah. would see kind of the, uh, more of a flow to the movie because of that. Yeah, well, no, I loved, I loved all, both uh, Bruno and Borat. Thank and you. I know, even the second one, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, but my girlfriend and I went and saw it and we just laughed our asses well, off. Well, I think people were... Um, it was uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable, but, but, it was, yeah. but, but it's, it's really funny and it's very pointed. I was just thinking today on the way over here how uh, we went to this Prop 8 uh, um, mm -hmm. protest uh, downtown and got into a melee down there. You know, we were, we were trying to kind of uh, shine a light on this homophobia that exists mm -hmm. under the under the mm -hmm. surface of mm -hmm. this country, mm -hmm. and I think for a lot of people, it kind of hit too close to home to mm -hmm. some degree. I see. You know what? I forgot to introduce everybody to the Hangout, and I'm so sorry. But uh, Larry, this is Trev. He's in the UK right now in Yorkshire. Hey, man. Kempton's in Canada. Uh, hi. Jason's right outside of DC hi, area, Jason. and Diano. Reno. Diano, how are you, man? Yeah, yeah. The, we've got people that we hang out with on a regular basis. Oh, that's they're all, cool. They're all vetted and they're all... Like, I'm just going to start coming people. here and hanging out with you guys. We want you to. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, yeah we'd love that. Yeah, I like it too. So, The Dictator, um, we saw the clip that, that you guys shot at Cannes, or, yep, right? Yes. Did you, were you there? No, I didn't go to Cannes. You, no? No. It's it's uh, no I don't I, I don't travel that much if I can avoid it actually. <laughs> yeah, I want to talk about um, Seinfeld. Oh, go ahead, Trav. You have a I question. Say, the, the Dictator is um, it's not in the same style as Borat and Bruno, is it? No. Is it like a well, like scripted right? Yes, I mean there was there was a uh, an original script by uh, Alec Berg, uh, Jeff Schaefer, and Dave Mandel, who I work with on Curb, and uh, but that script was always intended to be a kind of a, um, a again a platform. Um, for the movies to, to riff off of, to improvise from, to make mm. a lot of stuff up, but using that as the structure. And it was a very, very strong structure with a real story. And it required actors, it required visual effects, it required sets. And so it seemed like the smart way to do that, you know, the yeah. way, way to do it for this movie. But trying to maintain that spontaneous edge that we had in the other movies, which was the challenge here, actually. So, so, Larry, you know I love you and Sasha. Uh, so, so, uh, sorry, quick, quick one on this. Um, but uh, with Bruno, there were a few scenes, uh, for example, the, uh, the Velcro scene, that is, to me, maybe a bit uh, mean. Of course, I understand the message and agree with the message of the homophobia thing, and that, that is a great on that. But um, how do you deal with uh, criticism on some of the scenes that are a lot meaner, to me anyway, than Borat, actually? Well, I think we were met with a lot more meanness uh, with the Bruno character than we were with the Borat character. And I think one of the reasons for that was because mm -hmm. that character was gay. Mm -hmm. People felt much more comfortable hitting him, mm. uh, hassling <laughs> him, roughing him up. You know, people felt, and, uh, people felt more okay with being mean to, Borat, uh, to Bruno than Borat. Mm -hmm. And I think that was, that's what's reflected in the movie, really. We're very careful about oh. picking our targets. We mm -hmm. don't want to pick targets that don't deserve to be targeted. Mm -hmm. But we felt in this movie all these people who were hating gays, trying to convert gays to straight, uh, trying to stop gay marriage, all these things, we thought this was wrong. And, mm -hmm. and to attack that, you have mm -hmm. to step on some toes occasionally, you know, and that's, mm -hmm. that's the only way these things are going to change. Mm -hmm. I agree. I love the... Uh, 
the, the little right. stunt he did at that awards when he he, 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 he was sort of flew in as an angel and then um, that with Eminem. That was, yeah. that, was <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. that was awesome. Josh <laughs> well, is just willing to do anything, and once he's in character, he he's not himself, and he's willing to do anything. And then when he comes out of character, he's like, "What the hell did I just do?" Yeah, he's, so, he's fearless, that guy. He is fearless. He is yeah. fearless. Yeah, it was, it was great when he dumped the ashes on uh, on Ryan Seacrest. Yes, yes, that was cool too. <laughs> that was, that was splendid, right? Do you think that, that Ryan was kind of expecting it, or, or was that purely from, spontaneous? Uh, from, from what I could tell, Ryan did not know that was going to happen. I'm not sure they felt they could even pull it off. They, mm -hmm. It was very difficult to even pull that stunt off. So I think Ryan was caught by surprise. But he's a very, you see him on TV, Ryan. He's a mm -hmm. very cool guy. He yeah. knows how to handle pressure, and he kind of rolled with it really well, actually. Jason, did you have a particular question? I'm sorry if I... I did, yeah. The Dictator was hilarious. Loved Love the movie, and I mean a lot of these comedies, you know, that you they kind of get you know the, the predictable jokes, what you see on the trailer, and then they kind of die. The dictator did not do that; like it kept rolling along, and you're like, oh, it might pause. Oh no, that's funny too, and then oh, oh, it's funny too. But I just have to ask; I don't want to give anything away. But the scene where he's in the storage room at the grocery store, yes, where it's just him <laughs> doing his uh, specific thing. Um, yes. Ah! yes. How, how, how long did it take you guys to shoot that? How many people were on set? Like, what was... Because <laughs> he didn't know how to do it. We had to actually instruct him first. You know, it, was a, it was a normal day, you know, uh, a normal day at the office for us, you know. We'll shoot the masturbation scene today, you know. So, um, but it was, we experimented a bit. Again, there's a situation where we know we're going to do that, but how to do it best to make it palatable to the audience, to not make it too gross or graphic, but not also pull back too much, that balance is the kind of stuff that I'm talking mm -hmm. about that we will discuss endlessly before we do it. And so then we'll cover it many different ways, we'll shoot more than we need, and we'll experiment with that scene. So there's a scene that's written, and then there's the scene that's shot, mm -hmm. and then there's the scene that's edited, edited. you know. So it, it goes... <laughs> I almost feel bad for the writers who have to you know, write two or three pages of script for something like that. Yes, well, even on the set, we're adding stuff even on the set as we go along, too. Yeah, okay. The, uh, the dolphins, though, definitely made it. All the right. dolphins were a good choice. Yeah. Right. Um, so what's next for you after this? I, obviously, you had a, a huge success on Seinfeld and TV. Is there going to be something that's going to pull you back or something that I you're would, creating? I love television. I yeah. would love to do television. I've done a couple of pilots the last couple of years, but they just haven't sold for whatever reason. And uh, I, I, I love all the mediums, really. I mm -hmm. have no uh, prejudice mm -hmm. against any medium. Uh, it's where I can do my thing. That's where. If it's a television, if it's movies, I don't really care about that. Maybe it's here. This could be this could Google be the next one. Yeah. yeah, let's do something here. I, I like this idea, really. I mean, you have this direct connection with the audience, yeah. which is very hard to achieve. And it's live, and everyone has yeah. access to this right now. It's, Every it's, you know, it's TV with a live audience. Yes. And like when we do Curb, you don't get that kind of feedback immediately. Uh -huh. You have to kind of hope to you know, people are liking it. But here you would get a direct sense of what's going exactly. on. I like that. And also, oh, there also still awesome. makes it, but the, the first person to do that is still open as well. Yep. Yes. We're waiting oh, for yes. the first it's one. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be Larry. Okay, right, I'm going to do it. Thanks, thanks <laughs> for hanging out. Can you take a quick photo? Of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's wait till it focuses. Ah, yay, cheese. Yay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, thanks guys for hanging out. Thanks a lot, Larry. Sudesh just came in. Thank you very much for hanging out. Hi, Sudesh. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm doing fine. Hi, Sudesh. All right. Well, thank thank you. You. <laughs> my pleasure. My pleasure. I'm gonna thank watch you. Dictator. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy. I, do. I saw b both of the if, other two. If you like Bruno, you'll love this. Of course. Yeah, you of course. All right. Awesome. Pleasure. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. You've got. He's so cool. He is so 